safety in self because what it's about is like losing your parental uh, structure um, and uh, you then at some point have to become your own keystone and you have to be your own sort of uh, foundation. Outgrown the illusion we can no longer pretend. But it wasn't long ago, our chins in the air. Within the safety of home, we were bound for anywhere. Yeah. The only thing that we all had in common was you And now you've passed on and there isn't anything we can do But it wasn't long ago that we were all gathered round And this house was a home and happiness was found now we must find a new safety in self and implement all that we've learned. But now is the time to find our own wealth and to stand on our own. So much we have grown from no who in you. was intended to let us all begin and to give up now would be a sin we can't fall down we gotta keep marching but it wasn't long ago that we were all at ease headed for home and thought we had beat this disease and it wasn't long ago that we lived with the prayer that in the safety of home you would always be there now we must find a new safety in self and all that you taught is return now is the time to find our own wealth and to finish what's begun before our days are done we must be true now we must find a new safety in self and live all the life you deserved but now is the time to find our own wealth that we're not made of stone i'm meant to be alone and i've learned this too from you. Thank you. I'm Frank Vielli, and you're watching the extended play sessions. She been running for every move I made. People found it hard, so she held on tight, wrapped her arms, had me on not well. Now I'm singing love songs, hope she lives. And I'm in the bone, not one trim. Just when the time is gone. And every time we speak, it feels so strange. 
like a broken little song. Honey got me rolled, baby don't want my love. She was screaming, what has gone astray? Oh, a hot mess is true. We're playing me for a fool, playing the role of her distraction. But now I'm in too deep. Oh, she lives. And I've been no bone, not one trim. And just when the time is gone. And every time we speak, it feels so strange. And like a broken little song. Oh, mama, get down, yeah. Staring at the ground, so I fall to your feet. And I wish I never knew your love. Oh, girl, you made me weak. And it breaks my heart to know you're so far away. There's no easy answer, love. This world's gone wrong, now I'm spinning faster. Now I'm stuck here, six straight, strong, low, with nothing. Who about this broken love song? Oh, well, mama, get down, yeah. Come on. And I've been no bone, not one trim. And just where the time is gone. And every time we speak, it feels so strange. Like a broken little song. Oh, mama, get down. Song called Back Home in Derry. It's also on our CD. I learned the chords to this backstage in 1990. I didn't play guitar at all. I think it was Mark Pricer taught this to me. Uh, he had to play fiddle, and the uh, <laughs> Steve told me to tell the story in the green room at WERS. We were going on the radio, a group we had at the time, and I was just singing at that time. Didn't I never played the guitar, so he taught me the chords to it in the green room. It was the first time I ever played guitar, and I pulled it off. See if I could do it tonight. Song was written by Bobby Sands, a hunger striker in 1981, died in, in Ireland. Um, it's a beautiful poem called The Voyage. So I urge everybody to go to bobbysandstrust.com, I think it is, and look at the poem. Um, this song was taken from bits of that poem and uh, turned into a song by Christy Moore, I think, did it the way we're doing it, sort of. Um, but Bobby used to give concerts through the keyhole when he was in the prison um, to the other prisoners. And this was one of the big songs. I sing it not only for a free and peaceful Ireland, but a free and peaceful world where killing stops. And, uh, and people come to their senses. It tells a story about being sent away for hard labor to Van Diemen's land. And it's not a battle cry. It's not a war song. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a rebel. This is not a rebel song. Uh, but it isn't. Beautiful song, see what you make of it. Back home in Derry. Out from the sweet town of Derry For Australia bound If we didn't all drown And the marks of our feathers we carry In our rusty iron chains We cried for her wings The good one we loved and saw The mainsail unfurled The curses we heard The English in her thoughts of tomorrow 
At the mouth of the foil But farewell to the sun Was down below decks we were gone When a guardy scream Woken out of a dream By a vision of a rubber tire The sun burned as cruel It dished out the gruel And O'Connor was down with a fever Fifty rebels today bound for Bunny Bay And how many will reach the receive her? Oh, 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 I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, 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 oh I wish I was back home in Derry Curse them to hell as her bow for the swell. A ship danced like a moth in the firelight. With horses rode high as the devil passed by, taking souls through Hades by twilight. Five weeks out at sea, we were now 43. A comrades we buried each morning. In our own slime, we were lost in a tide. Endless night. Without darling Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry For a man to end out his whole life in slavery Where the climate is raw and the gun makes the law Neither wind nor rain care for bravery Twenty years have gone by and I've ended my bond A comrades they go swap behind me A rebel I came, I died just the same On the cold wind of mine you will find me Oh, I wish I was back all in Derry Oh, I wish I was back all in Derry Thank you.
Chicago lightning sent us back in town. I ain't no prohibition man, so pass the hooch around. on its way I best put down that second round for the feds blow me away No, 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 no Lord can't save my soul Down me a river and bathtub gin Merrily I'll go No, 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 no The big house I'll be gone Oh, booze house My tank isn't full and I ain't got a spare But I know that I'll make it Cause I know you're waiting there You're waiting there So I roll down the window, turn the radio on Elvis and me singing at the top of our lungs Top of our lungs I gotta roll the radio up to the I got a picture of you tapped out with a hazard line With a half cup of coffee passing highway signs Between your lines, my knuckles turning white But I keep driving deeper into the night Take on the line 
dangerous thing. Time for your daily boogie.
Fred McDowell. Uh... I know this little girl who lives in Tennessee. Things done got so bad for her. You know she had to be.
Sedona She looked up in the sky Seen a flashing ray of light It opened up her third eye She cried out Oh, this is a new song. It's called Walk on Water.
walking through the clouds with a circus smile that's running wild. Butterflies and zebras and moonbeams and fairy tales. thousand smiles she gives to me for free it's all right she said it's all right you can take anything you want from me give it up for bruce one more time over there on the
and I'm sad She comes to me With a thousand smiles She gives to me for free It's all right, she said, it's all right You can take anything you want from me We're gonna take it home now Thank you so very much. If you like what you heard, I do have my last CD for sale back there. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It was an absolute pleasure playing some blues for you. And watch out for the new record coming out mid-January. This one's called Safety and Self because what it's about is like losing your parental uh, structure um, and uh, you then at some point have to become your own keystone and you have to be your own sort of uh, foundation. Outgrown the illusion we can no longer pretend. But 
But it wasn't long ago, our chin's in the air Within the safety of home, we were bound for anywhere Yeah The only thing that we all had in common was you And now you've passed on and there isn't anything we can do But it wasn't long ago that we were all gathered round And this house was a home and happiness was found now we must find a new safety in self and implement all that we've learned. But now is the time to find our own wealth and to stand on our own. So much we have grown from no who in you. was intended to let us all begin and to give up now would be a sin we can't fall down we gotta keep marching but it wasn't long ago that we were all at ease headed for home and thought we had beat this disease and it wasn't long ago that we lived with the prayer that in the safety of home you would always be there now we must find a new safety in self and all that you taught is return now is the time to find our own wealth and to finish what's begun before our days are done we must be true now we must find a new safety in self and live all the life you deserved but now is the time to find our own wealth though we're not made of stone i'm meant to be alone and i've learned this too from you Thank you. I'm Frank Vielli, and you're watching the Extended Play Sessions. She been running from every move I made. Baby found it hard, so she held on tight, wrapped her arms, had me on not well. Now I'm singing love songs, hope she lives. And I've been up on not one trim. Just when the time is gone. And every time we speak, it feels so strange Like a broken little song the Honey got me wrong Baby, I don't want my love, she was screaming The world has gone astray Oh, a hot mess is true, we're playing me for a fool Playing the role of her distraction but now I'm in too deep, hope she lives. And I'm in no bone, not one trim. And I just when the time is gone. And every time we speak, it feels so strange. And like a broken little song. Oh, mama, get down, yeah. 
staring at the ground. So I fall to your feet. And I wish I never knew your love. Oh, girl, you made me weak. And it breaks my heart to know you're so far away. There's no easy out to love. This world's gone wrong, now I'm spinning faster. Now I'm stuck here, six straight, strong, low, with nothing about this broken love song. Oh, mama, get down, yeah. Come on. And I've been no boat, not more trim. But just where the time is gone. And every time I speak, it feels so strange. Like a broken little song. Well, mama, get down. song called Back Home in Derry. It's also on our CD. I learned the chords to this backstage in 1990. I didn't play guitar at all, I think it was. Mark Pricer taught this to me. Uh, he had to play fiddle. And the, uh, <laughs> Steve told me to tell the story. In the green room at WERS, we were going on the radio, a group we had at the time. And I was just singing at that time. Didn't, I never played the guitar. So he taught me the chords to it in the green room. It was the first time I ever played guitar, and I pulled it off. See if I could do it tonight. The song was written by Bobby Sands, a hunger striker in 1981, died in, in Ireland. Um, it's a beautiful poem called The Voyage. So I urge everybody to go to bobbysandstrust.com, I think it is, and look at the poem. Um, this song was taken from bits of that poem and uh, turned into a song by Christy Moore, I think, did it the way we're doing it, sort of. Um, but Bobby used to give concerts through the keyhole when he was in the prison um, to the other prisoners. And this was one of the big songs. I sing it not only for a free and peaceful Ireland, but a free and peaceful world where killing stops. And, uh, and people come to their senses. It tells a story about being sent away for hard labor to Van Diemen's land. And it's not a battle cry. It's not a war song. <laughs> Sorry, it's not, no. This is not a rebel song. Uh, but it isn't. It's a beautiful song. See what you make of it. Back home in Derry. Out from the sweet town of Derry For Australia bound If we didn't all drown And the marks of our fetters we carry In our rusty iron chains We cried for her wings The good one we laughed and saw As the mainsail unfurled The curses we heard The English in our thoughts of tomorrow At the mouth of the foil, but farewell to the sun Was down below decks we were lying When a dirty scream woke out of a dream By a vision of a rubber dye The sun burned us cruel, they dished out the gruel And O'Connor was down with a fever Fifty rebels today bound for Bunny Bay Many will reach the receiver. Oh, 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 I wish I was back home in Derry. Oh, 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 I wish I was back home in Derry. I cursed them to hell as her bow for the swell. A ship danced like a moth in the firelight 
But horses rode high as the devil passed by Taking souls through Hades by twilight Five weeks out of sea, we were now 43 Our comrades we buried each morning In our own slime, we were lost in a tide Endless night without dawning Hi, I'm Martin Joseph, and you're watching the Extended Play Sessions. Here come the young With open minds and hearts Inclusive from the start, here come the young, here come the young. I might just save the day, you know you best get out the way, here come the young. Tired of all your fighting, tired of all these years, tired of blazing crosses, tired of narrow fear, tired of smelling hunger, and they're tired of hearing lies. And they're tired of the big divide of these tired girls and boys. Here come the young, here come the young. With open minds and hearts, inclusive from the start. Here come the young, here come the young. Here come the young, here come the young. They might just save the day. Best get out the way. Here come the young, here come the young. Can I get my kick drum, please, buddy? Tired of assassination. Tired of military threat, tired of talk to trickle down, and they're tired of crippling debt, and they're tired of corporations, and they're tired of broken trust, and they're tired of being slaughtered, and those dreams that turn to rust. Here come the young, yeah, with open minds and hearts, inclusive from the start. Here come the young, here come the, here come the young, here come the young. Just say this day, you best get out the way. Here come the young, here come the yeah. of rising oceans, they're tired of bigotry, they're tired of racist leaders eroding all their liberty, and they're 
tired of a lack of shame And they're tired of a failed accord A colluders in a private game They're tired of the law ignored And they're tired of their future Being taken from them now And you better watch your back, sir Cause they're coming for you now Here come the young, here come the young With open minds and hearts Inclusive from the start Here come the young here come the young They might just save this day You know you best get out the way Here come the young, here come the Here come the young, here come the young With open minds and hearts Inclusive from the start Here come the young Here come the young, here come the young They might just save the day You know you best get out the way here come the young, here come the young. Or the shade concealed or displayed Enemies, friends, opposite ends Bitter or sweet, ruffled or neat Feathers led, silent or sad Generous or mean, corporate or green a vagrant lord, the dove or the sword, distinct or obscure, prosperous or poor, a devil and a saint, we are and we ain't. The intricate mysteries and life's secret codes, the cul-de-sac signposts down those yellow brick Ambiguous answers, my question is why Thunder and rainbows from the same sky Aye, 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 aye. Champagne or dust, banquet or crust Authentic, fake Angel or snake, flower or thorn, pristine or torn, the desert and the sea, there's a throne, see the tree, the intricate mysteries and life's secret codes, the cul-de-sac signposts down the yellow brick roads, ambiguous answers, my question is why? Thunder and rainbows from the same sky. I, 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 I. The light on the shade concealed on displayed enemies and friends, opposite ends. Flower or thorn, pristine or torn. And the say, see the throne and the tree. Intricate mysteries and life secret codes. All those cul de sac signposts down all the yellow brick roads. Ambiguous answers, my question is why we get thunder and rainbows from the same. Sky, I, 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 why, why? Thank you very much. Good evening, Fallout Shelter.
Thank you very much. Very happy to be uh, have Tom Jones opening for me there. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Okay, I haven't got long. Let me push on. This is a, a, a track off uh, my uh, my 24th studio record. It's called 1960, uh, and uh, I had three things flowing through my head on this one. One uh, sometimes like songwriting is a bit of a mystery, and uh, you don't know where it's going, so you work your way through. I had three things. The first thing was I saw that great uh, documentary on Laurel Canyon, 1971, that great getting together of singer-songwriters, and I thought, well, you know, with uh, Jackson Brown and Joni, maybe if, what if I'd knocked on the door with my guitar? And uh, I'd have been 11 years old at the time, which was a bit weird, but anyway. Uh, second thing was something Mr. Art Garfunkel once said to me. I hope you caught that name as I dropped it. I, uh, Signed to CBS in the 90s, I toured with Art, and uh, the last thing he said to me was, you should go to Nashville. The third thing was I found this old black and white photograph, an autograph to my grandfather, 1943, in the desert where he served in the war, from the great entertainer Josephine Baker, to dearest Edward's fondest regards, Josephine Baker. And I thought, what the hell was going on there then, Granddad? And put them together and uh, came up with this piece of wisdom. Should have gone to Laurel Canyon in 1971. I could have sung some songs to Joni, hung out in the sun, born too late. Born too late for that. I'd said go to Nashville when we toured in 94. She's the edge of that new country, boy. You just walk on through that door. I was born too late. I was born too late for that. Yes, I was. Well, how long does it take for a man to know himself? Yeah. What does it take for a man to know something of himself, yeah? Well, you can lie just like the Kremlin in an Americana band. You can plant your flag in the Sinai Desert, watch all those armies land. Born too late. I was born too late for that, yes, I was. And when the priest, they blessed the liar, when that liar had his way. I never thought I'd wake up now and see that in my day, thought I was born too late, yeah. Thought I was born too late for that, you said. Well, how long does it take for a man to know himself? Somebody tell me. How long does it take for a man to know himself? scenes, but you'll miss the mighty wisdom while you're waiting on your dream born too late I was born much too late for that, yes I I can feel that tension rising yeah I see that rank and file but I didn't see Josephine Baker taken by my granddad's smile I was born too late It's too late for that, yes I was. Well, how long does it take for a man to know himself? Somebody tell me. How long does it take for a man to know himself? How long will it take for this man 
himself yeah. Should have gone to California Back in 1971 Sung some songs to Crosby, Stills, Nash and Neil Young Heartbreakingly beautiful, sing that with me. This glass is half full, and this glass it is heartbreakingly beautiful. And again, this is half, yep. And this glass it is heartbreakingly. One more time, here we go. This good. is half full. And this glass, it is heartbreakingly beautiful, beautiful. Fill it up with those who've been to listen. Fill it up with those who break the fall. Fill it up with the humble and selfless. With those who build bridges, not walls. This glass is half full, yep. and this glass it is. Oh yeah, you're singing with me now. This yep. is half full, and this glass it is heartbreakingly beautiful, beautiful. Fill it up with the poets and the carers. Fill it up with those who seek to serve. Fill it up with the givers and the sharers, cause they know what the rest is worth. At. And this class is, come on, and is, are you singing for me now? This class is half full. This glass, a heartbreakingly beautiful, and again, this glass is half full, and this glass, it is heartbreakingly beautiful. justice fill it up with compassion sweet grace fill it up with all the big contradictions and your bright your brilliant face and I said this glass it's half full yeah and this glass it is you're singing with me now, this glass, everyone, is half, yes it is, and this glass is heartbreakingly beautiful, and again, this glass is half full, and this glass, it is heartbreakingly beautiful, and this glass is half full, and this glass is that's right, it's just heartbreakingly beautiful. And some days you just don't see it. Some days you might not feel it. 
Some days you will not believe it, but my friend, it is still. I promise you every single day, despite everything that goes on out there, it remains and always shall be heartbreakingly beautiful. What's more, there is some mighty fine singing going on here at the Fallout Shelter this evening. I'm not talking about me. Hey! Nice, thank you. This is uh, a song from 1960. Uh, it's, uh, I decided I'd write my autobiographical song and uh, try to reconjure some of my earliest memories. One of them was my, my parents used to take us on ridiculous camping trips. My sister and I back in Wales, we would drive for five weeks in my father's Renault 16 to Spain, put up the tent for two nights and come home again. <laughs> but it was very exciting and uh, I have this view of the telegraph poles and the wires out of the window after we'd done all that singing and to try and shut us up. We would sleep on this little shelf in the back of my dad's Renault 16. If only I could never sleep, so I would watch these poles and the wires, and it was a cinematic rhythm for it, excuse me, and uh, I haven't got time to do this whole setup, but uh, I lost my dad uh, just before Christmas, and uh, this is uh, sort of about him and my parents, and I tried to just uh, sum up the whole thing from here to north to 62, and. Uh, this is my biographical song. It lasts for about three hours. Lying in the back seat of that Renault, eyes wide open to the sky. Watching telegraph poles keep wires apart as it looks like they'll collide. It is 1965 and my father's at the wheel, elbow outside. And I have felt so much. Out onto the open road, you try to live within a code, you try. Some days love is easy, some nights it's cold and sometimes it lies. 5 a.m. unseen, unbridled beauty of the ocean that doesn't give a damn. I have felt Felt like my heart might burst, and it's much more than I deserve. Draw closer, my love. Felt so much. I stood amidst the grace of the gentle good in a far off land. And it's true we see the view in our souls from where we get to stand. Well, am I more alive now than when I first began? The blessed gift of children that binds you to the future and the earth. And if your ego gets an upgrade to wisdom, then faith is reimbursed. I've carried sadness and shame, but the healing gain of love, she changes everything. And I have felt so much. Love's big wide universe felt like my heart might burst 
It's so much more than I deserve Draw closer, my love I felt so much Some nights I stand at open doors with rain coming down And I count them one by one And I've seen the sky tonight And felt the light and all that shadow draw Whatever morning brings It's hope and faith in these things That keeps us alive And I have felt so much And I'm lying in the back seat of that rhino eyes wide open to the sky Watching those telegraph poles keep the wires parted as it looks like they might collide It is 1965 and my father's at the wheel his elbow outside Okay, I'm going to do one more song and exit the stage here. I'm very indebted to the lovely Alice Paul for letting me open this show for him tonight as I was passing through and uh, looking forward to hear him and Rad very, very much. So, uh, and all the, the lovely people here at the Fallout Shelter, what a wonderful venue. I, uh, I'd like to come back here and play. Thank you very much. So, uh, I thought I'd finish. Uh, uh, just to say, I have some stuff at the back there, and also uh, Justine and I, we have a charity that runs all the songs side this music, and uh, you can go and check that out too if it's interest to you in any way whatsoever. But, however, this is a song I wrote for my daughter. Uh, when I drove her, well, what happened was I was driving her back to London from Cardiff to, she was back to university. Uh, it's about a three hour drive. I realize for you guys, that's like going to see one of your neighbors, you know, but um, for us, it's a long haul. So to pass the time in the car, we exchanged songs, generational songs on our, our iPhones, right? She'd play me one, I'd play her one, that sort of thing. And, uh, and I began to realize that there was, uh, there was something going on. As a, again, as a writer, one of the things you have to do, and I would sure this would apply to a, being a photographer or a, a painter, whatever, is you have to pay attention to the muse that is in front of you at any given time. As we, as we swap songs, I thought there's a song here, there's a song here. So while she went to get an expensive coffee at the service station, I made some notes on the same iPhone. You see, follow the muse. Otherwise, if you don't want it, it you don't be arrogant enough to think it's going to remain. It won't. It goes down the road and Paul McCartney gets it, right? So I want the damn muse. So, so. so I made a few notes, and, uh, and I came up with this song. And it's, uh, it's, about, um, it's about letting go. It's about uh, having the wisdom to hope that... Uh, your kids will inherit the best of who you've been and completely reject those things that caused you to stumble and fall in the night. Because uh, that's how it gets better, folks. As I look at my kids, they are far less racist, they are more open, more inclusive than my generation has been. Here come the young. <laughs> Hair of golden sun 
the light I'll always know. Your laughter carries rainbows. I held you to the sky not long ago. Now there you fly. See how high, how high you go. I'm driving her back to London. It's home from home for her. We're swapping tunes on iPhones. She plays me the Kings of Leon. I play her the Rolling Stones. Time slips away, but all that's gathered remains. I'm driving her home now, once again. Mine is not to know. Mine is just to ask. I just want to know that you're okay. I want everything to fit in place at last. All those pieces that we found, just take away my best and please leave all the rest. Driving her back to London. It's home from home for her. Swapping tunes on iPhones. She plays me the Foo Fighters. I play her Blur. And time slips away, but all that's gathered remains. Driving her home now, once again. Walk without wounds. And light up all those rooms with your face. And I still might have some words for you, but there's none that come to mind. There's not much vocabulary that I have ever left behind. I just hope that I wasn't too much. But you are loved and beautiful, so much more than these words could ever know. London, it's home from home for you. We've been swapping tunes on our iPhones. I played you Bruce. You played me Muse. And times just slipped away. But I believe everything that has gathered. It remains, so I'm driving you home. Yes, I'm driving you home, and if you'll have me, I will do it again and again. Hey, thank you very much. Jochen Bauer. I got a woman. 
just for me. Oh yeah, she says a loving early in the morning, just for me. Oh yeah, she says a loving just for me. Ah, she loves me so tenderly. I got a woman. Never grumbles or fusses, always treats me right. Never running in the streets and leaving me alone. She knows a woman's place is right there now in her home. I got a woman way over town that's good to me. Oh, oh yeah. She's all right. I don't know she's all right. She's all right. She's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As I was walking down the street last night, a pretty little girl came in the sight. I bowed and smiled and asked her name. She said, Hold it, bud. I don't play that game. I reached in my pocket and to her big surprise, that was Lincoln staring her dead in the eye. On a greenback, greenback dollar bill, just a little piece of paper coated with chlorophyll. She looked at me with that familiar desire, her eyes lit up like they were on fire. She said, my name's Flo and you're on the right track. But look here, Daddy, I wear furs on my back. So if you want to have fun in this man's land, let Lincoln and Jackson start shaking hands. On a greenback, greenback dollar bill, just a little piece of paper coated with chlorophyll. I didn't know what I was getting into, but I popped Lincoln and Jackson too. I didn't mind seeing them fade out of sight. I just knew I'd have some fun last night. Whenever you're in town and looking for a thrill, if Lincoln can't get it, Jackson sure will. On a greenback, greenback dollar bill, just a little piece of paper coated with chlorophyll. Went to a nice spot where the lights were low Dined and danced and I was ready to go I got out of my seat and when Flora rose She said, hold it, Daddy, while I piled on my nose I sat back down with a smiling face While she went down to the powder place With my green back, green back dollar bill just a little piece of paper coated with chlorophyll. The music stopped and the lights came on. I looked around and saw I was all alone. I didn't know how long Flo had been gone, but a nose powder sure didn't take that long. I left the place with tears in my eyes as I waved Lincoln and Jackson last goodbye. On a greenback, greenback dollar bill. Just a little piece of paper coated with chlorophyll. Oh, come back, baby. Oh, mama, please don't go, yeah. Cause the way I love you, child.
Such a long time ago That you didn't want me You didn't love me no more I wanna know Oh, what makes me be Do you believe me, child? Just about to break a day Reach over and feel a pillow mm -hmm, Where your baby used to lay Then you put on your cry Like you never cried before You were five years old, baby. I've been a fool for you, little girl. Way down in my soul, I'm a little fool for you. So I know.
Oh, well, oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know that this little girl of mine, I want you people to know this little girl of mine. I take her everywhere we go. One day I looked at my suit. My suit was new. I looked at my shoes and they were too. And that's why I, 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 oh, love the little girl of mine. Oh, do you know that this little girl of mine makes me happy when I'm sad? Oh, this little girl of mine loves me even when I'm bad. She knows how to love me right down to a T. If she does any wrong, you know she keeps it for me. And that's why I, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Ellis Paul and Radoslav Lorkovic. Are we on? There we are. Hey, all right. I just want to shout out to, to Martin. What a beautiful set that was. In the fall, I'm going to be going to England, and uh, I'm going to be playing to his crowd. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a long, lifelong friendship back and forth. Beautiful to see you guys. I want to introduce the band. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Radislav Lorkovich. Talk to them 
themselves on greyhounds Even the driver's strange to hear They tell the same forgotten story Well, it fall on forgetfully And on comes a woman with two kids and a bottle of booze. She cracked them both like matches whenever they ventured too close to a fuse. And I sat with a girl from Boston playing cards for cigarettes. I lost her name with the poker game. Though her face I'll never forget. You never forget the view of these windows. Good night, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Let me just get this perfectly in tune. I'm celebrating my 30th uh, year on the road. <laughs> and my 24th album out, uh, which is, yeah, I know it's amazing. It's, so, it's too much, really. Could have stopped at 12 started to repeat myself, but there's so much to learn. Today, as I was driving here, I was stuck at the airport waiting for him to fly in. And I don't know what the hell's going on with Logan, but it's got to stop. <laughs> Just, holy shit. Wow. It's too much. And I was sitting there, and I, was, I had YouTube on, and it was a show about Paul Williams. He was being interviewed by somebody, a songwriting guy from Nashville. I was telling this to Martin, and uh, he didn't quite know the song so well, but Rainbow Connection, right? Kermit's theme song. You know that, right? Why are there so many songs about a rainbow? And what's on the other side? So the hit with that was sung by uh, Jim Henson, right? The, the guy that had Kermit. And what was interesting to me is in the studio, they just couldn't get it right. Jim just wasn't getting it. And Paul Williams had written this song for Kermit, but, but Jim Henson couldn't sing it for some reason. It wasn't connecting. And so he said, go get Kermit. <laughs> and so Jim Henson put Kermit on, and then Kermit s sang the song into the microphone, and it was one take and done. <laughs> so I was thinking that maybe... Yeah. Do you want to be the puppet or do you want to be the hand? <laughs> That's a very philosophical question. <laughs> and slightly dirty. I, n I just <laughs> came out of my mouth and I wanted to retract it and pull it back in. Well, let's just say, but it was already let's out just there. Say some days you're the puppet and some days you're the <laughs> hand. <laughs> 
oh man, I love this show already. <laughs> this is already doing things we shouldn't be doing. Let's do more of this. She fell to the mattress with the grace of an actress. You're falling like a thief from a room. She's asking for proof. Are you staying outside? You hear mission bell. Welcome to Maria's beautiful. In a cluttered apartment on the west side She pulls the blinds wide You watch as her dress falls round And the world slows a clock Shows a wrinkle in the flow of time She steps close
Johnny Cash. Kick out the lights. Will this be the one night in my history that I don't need to explain the rules of how to join us on this song? Can we do this? Oh my God, thank you. Because I'm having to explain how to sing along for 30 years, and this is the first night that I'm just not gonna do it. Jump in if you want. I don't care. <laughs> How you do? Kick out the light. I gotta explain now. <laughs> the first thing, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you have to sing like you're in the Mormon Tabernacle choir, but really drunk, and you're at a soccer game and you're like the halftime show. Yeah, I know you can, honey. All right, let's try this again. Kick out the light. Kick out the light. Kick out the light. Kick out the light. All right, here we go. Now Johnny Cash, the man in black, was at the Grand Old Opry, drunk on ambition. A whiskey coffee was dancing with demons. Nothing could stop him tonight. Night, but it felt like a church. He said a little prayer, ran to the stage, taking two and three stairs. He'd heckle on John, how he wouldn't care, cause tonight he's gonna kick out the lights, kick out the lights, kick out the lights. Now you can play a big theater to chandeliers and pearls Rage inside a stadium, the rules of pretty girls Take your fancy jet, tour around the world If you like, it's alright Or you can play folks in prison to the robbers, the crooks The 300 killers giving back dirty looks There's a prison riot, you're gonna get the hook so tonight Better be kicking out the lights, kick out the lights. Oh, kick out the lights. Ooh, kick out the lights. Kick out the lights. Don't play, play on, John. Johnny, till the last note's gone. Rage, oh, rage, John, John. Johnny Talasco's Alright, if you like, 
And you can sing a ring of fire And our God cuts you down But cocaine freight trains Sunday morning coming down I shot a man in Reno To paint the town well damn right You'd be kicking out the lights Kick out the lights So I have a new album out. Uh, it's not coming out until June 9th, but it's here, and I brought it so you could bring it home with you. It's, it looks like this. And every single copy has a coaster to protect your furniture at home from drinks and stuff. <laughs> Just a little memento if you want to uh, take it home. Uh, we're going to do a few songs from the album uh, right, right now. You know you're getting old when the sexiest instrument in the room is an accordion. He looks like a Sears underwear model from the 1970s. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> Is this all on film? Uh, great. Wow. Uh, whoa. This song is a, a piece of historical fiction, but it's truth nonetheless. It's, a, it's about Ireland. And... Uh, it's called Holy. Declan McLaren spent on his roof all night staring at the lights of his town The last train to Dublin Has just taken flight Through the snow he hears a whistle sound He says it's holy The sound of it's holy Holy to me And if only I could take it to Dublin the sea His mother says Christ deck them please and Don't waste your prayers on a train He says watch me Church bells have spoken There's a steam train Stretching on the tracks And there's Declan McLaren Running beside a freight car He takes a hold He ain't looking back He says it's holy The sound of it's holy Holy And if only I could take it to Dublin I'd catch a boat across the sea Cause Peggy Young is waiting for me She says don't risk your life on a train He says watch me Oh, it 
It's April 11 at the Queenstown Docks. There's a foghorn coming across the waves. And there's Declan McLaren with a third class ticket on the biggest ship that man's ever made. He says it's holy, the sound of it's holy, holy me. And if only I could take it to New York, Bay's waiting for me. His friends say, Christ, Declan, please, you're wasting your prayers on a dream. He says, watch me. Thank you so much. I turned 55 during the pandemic. Thank you. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. There's nothing to clap about. And I was sitting there in my 55-ness and thinking back at all the stuff that's not here that was here not so long ago, like milkmen bringing milk to your door. Whatever happened to that? That was kind of cool. I think about that almost every week as I go to the store, which is five miles away, to get just one thing half and half, because <laughs> we're out. And those Rand, Rand McNally um, foldable maps that you used to keep in your car, they could never fold back together again. And now we just have the GPS. Like. And then fax machines in your house, where are, the, where are they? And why am I here? And they're not. <laughs> so that's what started this, uh, this little number here called 55 which is the title track of uh, <laughs> this, which also has a booklet with songs illustrated by me. If you buy this kind of thing anymore. <laughs> like CDs, where'd they go? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? I don't know the rest of it, but I'm sure it's quite brilliant, because I feel the song from inside. I'm just going to rewrite all the classics. <laughs> This goes out to you who are older than 55 that are thinking about me right now saying, you have no idea how lucky you are, man. And all of you that are saying, yeah, man, you are old. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's a kid in the audience. I just, I'm sorry. I owe you a dollar every time I say a bad word. I'll give you a free CD. It's like, I can't fucking get rid of them. Uh. <laughs> I've lived through eight track tapes, DVDs, vinyl records still in the sleeves. 
Mix cassettes I once believed Could keep a girlfriend crying Polaroids were just a trend a Rotary phones won't spin around again Highway maps all came to an end And nobody saw them folding And me, I'm 55 Just trying to figure out how I'm still alive On a dusty road I once rolled my car I walked away without a scar I spent countless nights playing smoky bars Dying to find myself a little trouble Whiskey sour, whiskey mean No one too many and they're obsolete I was living the dream on a lucky street Nearly trapped like a ship in a bottle And I'm 55, just trying to figure out How I'm still alive Rand McNally and the fax machine Milkman bringing home butter and cream Sears and Roebuck magazines Look while I out survive I'm 55 just trying to figure out how I'm still alive I can't remember where I got the call Might have been St. Louis, might have been St. Paul They've canceled every show through fall Turn the bus round, boys, it's over This virus don't care if you got mouse to feed Or about songs you're singing while the whole world's bleeding But you get to stay and John Prine's leaving Who's in charge of the order? Rand McNally and the fax machine The milkman bringing home butter and cream Sears and Roebuck magazines Look while I out survive out of style she can kill me with just her smile she can break me just by crying Rand McNally and the fax machine the milkman bring home butter and cream Susan Roebuck magazines look So after 30 years of writing songs, I've written about a thousand songs, you know, I'm wondering, I, I get to a point where I'm just wondering, is there anything else I have to say? And I'd have to ask myself some broad questions in order to trigger small, small ideas like, 
what was the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And then write about where you were, who you're with, where were you in your life, why was it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I asked myself, when was the mo moment where you looked at someone and you realized you were in love with them just in an instant? And, that, and how did that take place? And who was it? And where were you? And what was she wearing? That kind of thing. And then I asked myself, what was the day when your family's dysfunction was most on public display? <laughs> I got a song for that as well. well we're going to do it after this one. Ask myself, what was the best gift anyone ever got for you in your life? A gift that might have changed your perspective on something or given you an opportunity somehow in, in what it was. And so I wrote that song. The best gift that I ever got in my life was from a woman named Patty Griffin. She's an amazing uh, songwriter, and we were very close in the 90s. And I was going through a breakup, living in Nashville. And she called me up from a phone, and she said, uh, how are you holding up? I feel like we should get together. I just want to check in on you. And I said, I'm doing OK, but where do you want to meet? And she said, let's meet at Bongo Java. It's this coffee house in Nashville where all the songwriters hang out. It's best known because it had a cinnamon bun that it made that when you held it at a certain angle, it looked exactly like Mother Teresa. So they shellacked it and made a shrine of it, and people from all over the world came to see it. Eventually, word of the cinnamon bun Mother Teresa got to Calcutta to the real Mother Teresa. And she said, I don't want any other version of me on the planet. And she sent them a cease and desist. But that's another thing entirely. <laughs> when I met Patty at the place, she came. And she was holding a shoebox, and it had a ribbon around it. And I said, what's this? And she said, I brought you something. So I sat the, the book down, uh, the, the box down. I took the ribbon off and took the lid off. And when I looked inside, it looked like she had taken that accessory store we all have in our kitchen and just dumped it all in there, like you know, the, the accessory store with the batteries and the Sharpies and the duct tape. And so. <laughs> What I did for this album was I recreated the gift. And I'm going to show you what it is. It starts like this. You can buy this, by the way, in the back, because it's such a beautiful gift. So you take it out. And I said, what is all this stuff? And she said, well, just, just grab something and pull it out, and I'll tell you what it is. And so I, I reached into the box, and there's lots of stuff in here. And I, it's coming, hold on. And I pulled out this. And I said, OK, what's this? And she said, that's to hold your shit together. <laughs> I owe you another dollar. <laughs> and then I reached in again, and I pulled out Oh, I pulled out this. What's this? She said, all the time he needs in your hands. And I reached in, and I pulled out this. And I said, what, what's, what's this? Can you see it? She said, that's for all the doors that are coming your way. And item after item after item brought oxygen in my life and blue skies into my life. And I felt like I could breathe like, breathe like a normal person in the middle of all the angst and suffering I was going through at the time. So um, this is a song about the box. If you purchase this back there, it also has two golden tickets to any Ellis Paul show you want to come to. And, a and, and one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Which in the next century is going to be a collectible item.
do that uh, day in my life that my my family's dysfunction was most on public display. We're going to make this the last song that we ever do in our lives. (laughs) So we're going to... No, we're not going to do that. We're in a fallout shelter. Who knows? Hey, we're going to go Gordon Lightfoot long. We're in this for the deep run. 
Maybe we'll do a Gordon Lightfoot song in the second set. We just have to write down the words, and if it's Edmund Fitzgerald, it'll take eight days to write it down. You a Gordon Lightfoot fan, my friend? I truly am. I truly am. I, I was into him when I was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Edmund Fitzgerald. Were you the puppet or the hand? Um, you know, that's a complicated question, Alice, <laughs> and I, uh, I definitely uh, have, have, have I've, I've, I've seen life from both sides now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nicely done. Wow. Yeah. So the day that my family's dysfunction was most on public display was July 4th, 1979. I know that because I was 14 years old and it was my family reunion at the family farm in Washburn, Maine. Back in the 1860s, a great, great grandfather, Wesley, he inherited that farm because he fought in the Civil War for the North and then gave him 140 acres of potato farmland. And every generation of my family since the 1860s has created a potato farmer until now. Because everyone knows the big money is in folk music. <laughs> By the time my grandparents headed in the 1970s, they had nine children and 45 grandchildren. And every 4th of July, the family would gather all the cousins, all the aunts and uncles and grandparents at the family farm. And it was always a near-death experience. It was the 1970s, so things like lawn darts were around. It's another thing I miss about my youth. And my aunts and uncles were completely out of their minds. And I decided it as I was writing this song that I wasn't going to change the names because they're still alive and I think the public should be warned. So this is the true story of my family reunion, July 4th, 1979. Grandpa's drinking whiskey on the sofa. The sofa's in the middle of a bonfire. Bottle rockets and lawn darts flying. Nobody died, but everyone was trying. It's my family reunion. It's the summer of 79. Ah, there ain't a party till the cops show up with four fire engines and bearded men and pickup trucks. The flames from the farmhouse are 30 feet high. It's a five alarm fire on the 4th of July. True story. Pails and kettles filled to the brim with wild strawberries. The screen doors cracking from kids running back to the woods. We told Grandma we found Uncle Terry's homegrown pot plants. She said she'd leave them in the well if we are good. Now there ain't a party till the cops show up with four fire engines and Vikings and pickup trucks. The flames from the farmhouse are 40 feet high. It's a five alarm fire on the 4th of July. Forty grandkids climbing the apple trees half naked. And Uncle Fred's underneath his truck with an acetylene torch. Now they say it only takes a spark to get a party going. Well, the truck caught fire and then the garage, then the whole damn porch. Ah, there rain party till the cops show up with four fire engines and pirates and pickup trucks. The flames from the farmhouse are 50 feet high. It's a five alarm fire on the 4th of July.
burgers flipping like horseshoes out on the back grill. We're trying to get a family photo taken, but 40 kids won't sit still. And on Diane is flashing the camera with her boobies. Uncle Buck is rolling something he calls Monster Do. There ain't a party till the cops show up with four fire engines and buccaneers and pickup trucks. The flames from the farmhouse are a hundred feet high. It's a five alarm fire on the fourth of July. Now it seems like the whole town of Washburn, Maine came out to the party. Kids were shaking Polaroids they took with the firemen. And yes, the farmhouse did burn down, but not the memories. And on Diane, she sure didn't make herself a few new friends. Show up with four fire engines and serial killers and pickup trucks. The flames from the farmhouse are a thousand feet high. It's a five alarm fire on the fourth. Oh, it's a five alarm fire on the fourth of July. Strawberry shortcake, three stacks high. Smoke them if you got them, let the fireworks fly. It's a five alarm fire. On the 4th of July We are family Sing that with me We'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this short break.
Welcome back here watching the extended play sessions. We're going to try this song. If you, whoops, I gotta just start the scroll. All right, it's a race. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like moon that movie about a ghost and a wishing well in a castle dark. Or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet You know the ghost is me All right, wait a minute. It's just scrolling so fast I lost the words and everything. It's, this is my first time ever using technology. All right. And I'm hoping dirty pictures aren't just going to pop up. I don't know who, who owns this, but let's, let's... Rad, it's beautiful. I'm sorry I'm so new to this. Okay, so that's more like my speed. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark. Or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet You know that ghost is me And I will never be set free As long as I am that ghost that you can't see If I could read my love, what a tale your thoughts could tell. Just like a paperback novel, the kind the drugstore sell. When you reach the part where the heartaches come, the hero would be me. But heroes often fail. Just too hard to take Bridge. I'd walk away Like a movie star Who gets burned in a three-way script And turn number two
going to Homer, Alaska in just a couple weeks. Two shows at Alice's Champagne Palace. You take a rickety plane from Seattle up into Anchorage. Step on the platform, stare at the midnight sun. Jump in my pickup and brother will drive. We'll bring your troubles down Highway 9. I got a pull-out couch and a job lined up at the cannery. Yeah, hitch a ride to Homer, Alaska, and brother, the drinks will be on me. Raise the class, left the chalice. Welcome to Alice, the champagne palace, the finest bar on the strip. If you're running away to Alaska, oh, Alaska, the mountains rise from ocean to sky in Homer, Alaska. And they'll steal your breath and your troubles in the blink of an eye. You'll hear a band with a steel guitar. Well, there's a window seat right at the bar. She's preaching like her rolling stone She push a mason jar across the bar And say, Mr. Welcome Home Raise a glass, lift a chalice Welcome to Alice, the champagne palace The finest bar on the strip in Homer, Alaska And the one behind the bar Homer's a town full of misfit toys Renegade women, runaway boys Everybody's got some story Here in Homer town I guess sometimes you gotta go to the end of the earth Just to turn yourself around Raise the glass Mr. Radislav Lorkovich is going to let Rad do a song here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I got a request. I got a request. I think I'm going to do what I did the last time I was here. This uh, piece I'm about to play is a reconciliation of uh, two massive cultures, two behemoth mass massive cultures, dividing two continents, really. And one is inhabited by my famous grandma, the, the classical pianist, and the other is the uh, kind of troublemaker me that snuck over into the States and started sneaking into bars as a teenager. And I diverted from my classical studies, picked up on this thing called the blues. And uh, Americana and all this kind of stuff. Then I came back to grandma and I go, hey, check this stuff out. She goes, no, no, no. And then I played a little two-part Bach invention for her. She goes, yeah, yeah, keep doing that, keep doing that. <laughs> 
that's, that, that's bad stuff. I reconcile the two here. This is a piece called The Blues in C minor. <laughs> such a joy uh, watching Rad be Rad, like watching Rad in his, I kind of feel like, uh, 
I'm an observer. Even though he's on the road with me, I wake up and I watch him live his day every day. And it's like when you're at the zoo and you see this really kind of strange, beautiful animal that doesn't really do things like anybody else. Like in the morning, we'll wake up and I'll wake up, you know, almost noon, but I'll wake up and he'll be at a piano playing Beethoven from like 10 o'clock until one. And then we'll rehearse and then we'll do a show and the next morning he's up and playing Beethoven for hours every day, Beethoven. Every day. <laughs> In the morning, before I have coffee. Lots of Beethoven. No, it's, it's, it's really, truly lovely, and uh, he lives more like a musician than anyone I know, and uh, he's fully invested in it. Love that. This is a request. It's called Drive and Movie. You can clap, it's okay. It's... It works best when everybody does it, though. It's this weird thing. It just. And fake applause are good. That's a good thing. I'm not worried about fake applause at all. We should have, we could travel with an applause sign. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, just in case, because sometimes they forget, oh, we're supposed to applaud. Yeah. We could, we could use it at gas stations, too. Right. <laughs> We could use it in a cookie. Yeah, we just carry it around our necks, like, on a chain. Just light it up. No? Listen, I'm a marketing genius because these sold out. These boxes sold out tonight. This is the first night I'm selling them all gone. I have to, this is the only one I have left. I'm going to, I think uh, somebody wanted one that, uh, was it, no, was it, no, it wasn't you. Oh, but yeah. It's yours. All right. But man, next time I come to Norwood, I'm going to have 300. Let's do this. Take me to a driving movie. Put your body right next to me. Whisper promises to me. Roll the windows down. Cause when you look at me like that, kiss me, I'll kiss you right back. Break your heart, give it to me. Take me to a driving movie. Hey. Take me on a long vacation. I'll bound from an old train station. We'll watch the world go by till we close our eyes in a sleeping car. We'll wake up in a brand new you're the only one who knows my face Looking for a little salvation Take me to on a long vacation Take me, take me Doesn't matter where we go Take me, take me I don't even have to know
Take me on a roller coaster. I want to feel my heart turn over till I'm upside down, can't touch the ground. There's no gravity. I want to feel my blood rise just like the first time we touch. I want to fall over and over and over. Take me on. Take me, take me, doesn't matter where we go. Take me, take me, I don't even have to know. Take me, take me slow. Hmm. Take me to a drive. Slide a little closer to me This is the grooviest place we play. We play all over the country, everywhere in the country that uh, allows us in. Uh, and Bill, we want to say thank you for creating this, this incredible room. Parents didn't really want a folk singer in the family. I mean, who would? It sounded something you invite in. They wanted a lawyer or a doctor. That's what they got with my brother. He came in about five years ahead of me. And that's okay. Uh, but they did everything they could to get the person you're seeing up here. When I was three years old, they bought me a box of Crayola crayons, the 64 colored ones, you know. And anything I created, they put up on the refrigerator and celebrated like it was a Picasso, often at the expense of my other brothers and sisters. So I realized early on that art got me through and got me special attention. And when I was in the third grade, I went to my first concert. It was Doc Severinsen of the Tonight Show Orchestra. It was totally badass. I was in a balcony right on the edge looking down at him. He came out in orange sequins. He looked like a million dollars in 1970s dollars, like a lot of dollars for the 70s. And he played beautifully, and I was on a cloud just gabbing on about it on the way home. And when I woke up the next day, there was a trumpet at the end of my bed. And I played all through high school, and... Uh, fell in love with music in, in a way that, you know, I wouldn't have without that gift. But when I went to college, I went to Boston College. It's still one of the most expensive schools in the country. Go Eagles. $60,000 to go to BC now. <laughs> Unless you're really poor. 65, wow. Somebody, in, wow, holy shite. What, was the kid still here? It's going to be an expensive night. When I graduated, I told him I was going, uh, I, I was, I was going to be a, a folk singer. Which is just one step away from complete homelessness. And they were, they were worried. I mean, I, I suppose I would be too. When I was 26, I was going out to a show up in Maine where my dad lived. I had the guitar in my hand. And he stopped me on a staircase and he said, you can't keep doing this. And I said, I can't keep doing what? He said, you, you can't keep doing music. You got to think about getting a job, settling down, figuring this thing out. Go back to grad school. Get your life together. I was like, oh, wow. Because at 26, I already saw myself for who I am. And he couldn't see me at all. 
And he didn't really have the skills to, because he was living in a different world and universe than I was. But by that point, by the time I was 26, man, I was in the rabbit hole and there was no coming out. I knew I was gonna be here 30 years later playing these songs, you know? So put a rift between my dad and I for a long time. But just a few weeks ago, I finally figured out what he was trying to tell me. It had nothing to do with me at all. I was driving my daughters to school, having one of those dad conversations with your daughters. What, what do you want to do with your life? Where are you going to be in five years and 10 years? If you could choose any occupation, what would you choose? What would you want to be? Where would you live? And my daughter in the back seat, Ella, she's 18, she said, I want to be an actress. And I had figured out what my dad was trying to tell me. <laughs> what he was really trying to say was, please don't live in my basement. Because <laughs> that's the first thing that came into my mind. And I'm like, I, I'm an artist. And I'm thinking that. And this, and this, this guilt washed over me like, holy shit, I'm an artist. And I'm thinking, please don't live in my basement until you're 30. But of course, she can be an actress, and I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to help her, and I can definitely buy a house without a basement. I, we'll <laughs> whatever it is, we'll figure it out. I'm telling you this because this song is called You'll Never Be This Young Again, and it goes out to any of you that were shut down on a staircase by someone who told you you weren't good enough. You'll never be this young again. It was still the right key, it just was no, the right key that he was in. It's better when we're both in the same right key. Because there's no wrong key. Go ahead, you want to do it, go ahead. I saw that faith. I met a walking man, his life fit in his pockets, his thumb was in the air. On a road in Millinocket, a six-string guitar, his girlfriend's locket going my way, my way. Now for a dream, he left the mills, he left the bricks, he left the mortar. I told him I could take him to the Massachusetts border. He sang like a soup. Box and an endless roll of quarters down the highway on a bright lit sunny day. Oh, you'll never be this young again. The train conductor's calling your ticket. If it ain't now, then when? Oh, the mountain top ain't gonna wait forever. Fill your lungs with oxygen and take your first step. Breathe out, breathe in. You'll never be this young again. All right. An old friend said, Ellis, I've been living in a cubicle, making cold calls, popping pharmaceuticals. I thought my whole life would read more like a musical. So write your own West Side Story. Shake off the shackles, buy a tackle box, a boat, a cabin on Sebago to think, to float. When the typewriter's clacking, the novel gets wrote. I'm telling you now, no risk, no glory, oh, you'll never be this young again. The train conductor's calling your ticket, if it ain't now, then when? Oh, the mountain top ain't gonna wait forever. I fill your lungs with oxygen and take your first step. Breathe out, breathe in. You'll never be this young again. All right, you'll never be this young again.
You only had so many heartbeats. You only had so many first kisses. So sweet. Dreams don't come easy and they don't come cheap. Don't let the haters kick them out of you. Out of you. The train conductor's calling you tell If it ain't now, then when? Oh, the mountain top ain't gonna wait for hell Fill your lungs with oxygen And take your first step Breathe out, breathe in You'll never be this young again Oh, my You'll never be this young again I'm gonna do one more song for you. I want to thank uh, Martin again for a beautiful opening set. It's nice to have a brother in arms across the pond who's doing the same stuff with a much more interesting accent. And, uh, he's He's charming and he's, he's a great songwriter. We love songwriting. Love great songwriting. That's why losing uh, Gordon Life, it was so hard. Just especially, uh, you know, if you could read my mind, it's probably one of the best songs ever recorded. Absolutely. <laughs> There's this era of songwriters that I love and hold dear, and they're all 80 plus now. I mean, I just, they're falling like redwoods, and it's so hard. Every week is just another story of um, these people that I cherish. And, um, and that's the circle of life, and they leave a legacy behind that um, makes you not want to talk about them in the past tense. And uh, so I met him once, I played the Mariposa Folk Festival, and, and uh, he went on stage and just said hi on the way up. And, and I almost cried like a baby. <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't speak. I literally, I couldn't speak. Some people you don't want to meet, I've heard that. <laughs> Bob Dylan, and you don't want to meet Bob Dylan. I mean, you do, until you do. And then you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That killed it for me. <laughs> well, we gotta bring that guitar down, fellas, if you don't mind, in the monitor. It's gonna blow my hairpiece right off my head. Do you have mics in the room, Bill? If I went out into the room, could we? Could you film it and not be pissed at me? Let's do this.
Bill probably wants to do this plugged in, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Brad, you'll have to sit over there and make use of whatever he can to make this work. We lost John Prine over the pandemic. This is a John Prine song. I love how they clap. Yeah, that was so great. That was so musical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just, that's awful. Up in Brunswick, Maine, not tomorrow. Yeah, they, they don't clap in time on the one and the three. Now I'm from Maine. I don't clap on the one and three in time. There's a little girl in the audience, I think it'll order around $27. Did she left? <laughs> I win again.
I am an old woman Named after my mother My old man is another Child is grown old Your dreams were lightning Thunder desire This old house would have burned down A long time ago Make me an angel Sing with her That flies from my gun Make me a poster Of an old rodeo Just give me the one thing That I can hold To believe in this living is just a hard way to go. When I was a young girl, oh, I had me a cowboy. He weren't much to look at, just a free rounding man. But that was a long time. No matter how I try All the years they flow by Like a broken down dam Make me an angel That flies from a gun Make me a poster Of an old 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 Just give me the one thing that I can hold on to To believe in this land is just a hard way to go in the kitchen I can hear them buzzing and I ain't done nothing since I woke up today how the hell can a person go to work in the morning come home in the evening with nothing to say Thank you so much, Bill, and everybody here, all the volunteers. Get home safely. See ya.